All right. As you can see, I've, I've called a board meeting. I'm the chairman of the board. The overflow chair is over there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad everyone can attend today. We have some serious matters we need to discuss. So, I believe there's two kinds of meetings. There's meetings where you talk about doing something, and then there's meetings where you actually get something done. And I hope this is the latter. And, well, let me cut to the chase. You just recently saw in the videos preceding this hard evidence, fossils, scientific evidence of how things existed here in Florida millennium ago. All right, these are the animals that used to be in Florida. Believe it or not, we have woolly mammoths and this uh, interesting looking guy here is a ground sloth. These things got as big as 20 feet. They were vegetarian, thank God. At least, I hope they were vegetarian. <laughs> and these animals are Ice Age animals. They were driven to Florida because it was the only place where there was vegetation. And they, they lived here. Their bones have been found right here in Polk County. And they're tusk and saber-toothed tigers, big giant turtles, and a little bitty elephants. Pretty cool, huh? Even a woolly mammoth and saber-toothed tigers and giant ground sloths and sharks were once swimming around here. So when they were digging that phosphate pit, they found this vertebrate of that baleen whale from the Cenozoic era, 10 million years ago, 18 feet in length. This looks like what's left of its skull. Wow. Whales swimming around in my hometown. It's Pine Lake. That was all woods and cow pasture. Now it's a neighborhood. Here's Pine Lake. This is where we used to live. Wow. My goodness. I just want to stop in front of the house. I'm not going to. I just want to get a good image of it. Wow, boy, is it. <laughs> I was 19 years old when we moved down here. I was entering what you call, the stage of life you call coming of age. Just as you get out of high school. You're just beginning to figure out life. Sandpiper Lane. Wow, 3265. Oh, Sandpiper Lane, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Well, they tore all the trees down. We used to have about 10 pine trees in this front yard. Tore all the pine trees down. There's just one left right there. I'm not gonna sit out front. It would just get to me emotionally. I saw it. I didn't like what I saw. They tore, tore all the trees down. Whoever bought that house. Oh well, it's their property. They can do what they want. So minus it, and this would have been a juvenile. Right, wow. But the lead means it doesn't have any teeth. They have those uh, bristle like hanging from their roof of their mouth, and that's how they save their food. They probably ate plankton. Anyway, let me get out of here. I didn't think it would get to me like that. It's 1977 all over again. This is what Florida looked like 65 million years ago. I'll tell you, in that area I was hiking in earlier today, 
Ain't much changed in 65 million years. <laughs> it looked like this. Swamp. Get the picture, huh? That's why I'm hoping to find some prints. And there's proof of it. In fact, about 100 feet in that direction. I can walk out of this meeting and I could take with my bare hands and I could dig in the sand and I get I bet within two minutes I could find a tiger tiger tooth shark. Tooth. Tiger shark tooth. Want a piece of wood? Piece of wood? Sure. What you got? A little piece of wood? See it on that sign right there. How many is wood on the sign, is it? Yeah. Like a little piece of petrified wood. Yeah. You found that? Uh-huh. Wow. I, I have another one in my bucket, but you can keep that. Really? Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. You sure? Yeah. Okay. If you want to ship me for one of ours, please not. Please not. What I need is um a shovel and a bucket, yeah. They'll give you a little green bag inside. Here, you can use this shovel. Yeah. Yeah. I can use shovels? Yeah, really? We, yeah, we, we, we have two of them. Thank you so much. Oh, no, 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 no. I can just sift this order with this shovel here. Well, I can use this, but thank you. This works pretty good. All right, here, let me use that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Boy, these little kids, they know how to do it, huh? Okay, prove what I was just talking about. I've been digging in here and sifting. Check it out. Right there. That's. Right there. That's actually a tiger shark that was once swimming around in Florida, in central, in the central part of Florida. Shark's death. Crypto. Crypto news right here at the Crypto Museum at the Crypto Conference Hall. <laughs> Evidence. Proof that it existed and it was here. So, what's up with the cryptozoologist? Cryptozoologists make a lot of claims. They seem to have some type of evidence, most of it's trace, audio sounds, footprints. That guy Fasano Tampa's big on that. Blob squatches. Dark images seen behind trees, but nothing really, possibly it moved, possibly it didn't. But where is his evidence? I don't know. He makes entertaining videos, I guess. Is that really what it's all about? I don't know. Is it just a hobby? I don't know. But where's anybody else's evidence? Seriously. I understand him and TCR, TCSJR Bigfoot and... And Ed up in Minnesota been catching a lot of heat because they haven't really come up with a whole lot of evidence. They've come up with some stuff, some footprints. They ain't found a body like that guy standing there holding that giant bone. You need to see it again. That's freaking evidence, folks. Right there. That should be a Sasquatch bone. Someone should be able to hold it in their hands and nobody's doing it. But my point being, since nobody's doing it, why is Fasano Tampa, Tim Stover, and Ed Welch catching heat? Because they're trying and trying to have a little fun along the way? But people want to bust their chops about it? Get out of here. Get out in the jungle. Get out in the woods. Like I said, this meeting was about getting something done. And I want every one of you nameless faceless MFers sitting here at this table 
to walk out of this room and go do something or shut up. Because I'll hold this meeting again without you. And I don't care. Okay. I think we just got something done. Now get out of here.